When you're an itty bitty baby, you're 75% water. You're just a happy, puffy, little bloated baby. But when you grow older, and by the time you're elderly, you're down to 50 or 55% water volume. Pretty drastic decrease in the amount of water actually stored in your body. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because the purpose of this video is to address if you can have too much water, especially when you're working out or you're exercising. Can you consume too much water? Is there such thing as water toxicity? The short answer is yes, but I wanna explain how you can combat it and how you can really take a look at it from a different perspective from what the mainstream media wants you to look at it with. But before I do that, I have to explain exactly what electrolytes are. Because we always hear about electrolytes. And I don't know if you've seen the movie Idiocracy, but they kind of play on that a little bit. They're always saying electrolytes. And they're saying electrolytes with this hand motion like we're supposed to just understand that electrolytes are just magical and they just do amazing things. But what exactly are they? You see, they're minerals. And they're minerals that help electrical charges within our bodies, just like the name implies, electrolytes. And they do so many things. But there's three things that I want to focus on mainly. Okay, for one, they help muscles contract, whether it's skeletal muscles, like when you're moving your body, or whether it's smooth muscle tissue that's going to help your digestive system, or whether it's cardiac tissue that's helping your heartbeat. They are playing a huge role in that. When they're out of whack, that can cause a disturbance in that. Additionally, they affect nerve function. Okay, we're looking at positively and negatively charged ions here when it comes to electrolytes. Our nervous system is an electrical system. If our electrolytes are out of whack, our brain is sending disrupted signals that can cause the nervous system to potentially have some issues. Now third, we want to look at mood, and it links back to number two. It has to do with nerves. See, if we're not getting the right kind of energy, we're getting misfires to the brain, we aren't getting the most out of serotonin, dopamine, we're not getting the right kind of neurotransmitters, we're not getting the right kind of neurosignaling that we need. So it can affect a lot more than just the body. Now there's some telltale signs to being deficient in electrolytes. So maybe you've had a really tough workout before where you sweated a lot or you just worked really hard and later in the day you cramp up, your leg cramps. So you look on the internet, you try to figure out what to do and they say, go sit in an Epsom salt bath and eat a banana. Okay, well, basically you're dealing with an electrolyte imbalance. It goes a lot further than just an Epsom salt bath and taking a bite of a banana, but essentially you're experiencing that result. Now, additionally, you're gonna feel feelings of fatigue. Very, very simple. You might feel a headache come on and you might just feel overall irritability because your mood has shifted simply because of the electrolyte imbalance. Now, what is happening here is you usually have an overabundance of one mineral and a deficiency in the other. You see, a lot of times the food that we eat, the drinks that we drink, we're replenishing certain minerals, but we're not getting the right kind of balance. And if we have too much water, the process is really simple in terms of how we become diluted. Our kidneys regulate that electrolyte function, okay? And if you are taking in more water than your kidneys can process at a certain point in time, your kidneys are just gonna dump all the electrolytes. And that's all fine and dandy. That happens when we exercise and we rehydrate. But what happens is a lot of the mainstream sports drinks that we consume are really only replenishing us with the cheap ingredients. They're replenishing us with the sodium and sometimes the potassium. They're not full force electrolyte replenishers. So a lot of times we end up with this imbalance. So what we wanna focus on is really getting a well-rounded electrolyte replenishment. So we have to look at the wide spectrum of minerals here. We're looking at sodium, we're looking at phosphate, we're looking at calcium, we're looking at magnesium, and we're looking at potassium. Okay, so we've got these important minerals that we have to stay balanced with. We've gotta make sure that we're getting them in equal amounts for our bodies. Now, when you consume electrolytes, it's very important that you have it with just the right amount of sugar. You see, sometimes a lot of people have heavy, heavy sugar drinks, and that creates the wrong kind of state in your body. You wanna keep what's called an isotonic state or a hypertonic state, where you just have slightly more water than sugar in terms of a perfect ratio for your body. And that's gonna actually help you uptake those minerals. But more importantly, you need to rely on whole foods and you need to rely on magnesium supplements and these other kind of supplements that get you the minerals that are important to make sure you don't cramp and don't go off balance. One that I like to focus on the most is obviously magnesium simply because we are so deprived of magnesium. Right now we're consuming one third to half what we are consuming a hundred years ago and it's simply again because our soil is somewhat depleted. So I'm a big advocate for making sure that you are replenishing your magnesium stores in addition to your potassium, in addition to your sodium. Because if your magnesium stores are depleted, 
then it allows calcium to overrun your body. And if calcium overruns, it can sit on that NMDA receptor, like I've done another video on, and can potentially cause you to feel stressed and feel anxious. So in the essence of trying to feel our best and trying to perform our best, make sure you're looking at your electrolytes from a broad spectrum. You can drink too much water, but if you do, you can fix the situation if you're on top of your game. As always, keep it locked in here on these educational videos so you can learn more about how minerals are gonna affect your health, but also so you can get the most out of your day, most out of your workouts, the most out of your life. I'll see you soon.